Hi, I'm Cranium Gary, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to watch how a railroad turntable operates. This is part of the Great Lakes Central Railroad Steam Railroading Institute. at Owasso, Michigan. This yard crew is moving around passenger trains for the famous Pierre Marquette 1225 steam locomotive, also known as the Bowler Express of Michigan. Hey, Lionel man, wouldn't a turntable look great on Trainum Gary's layout? Yeah, it sure would. The yard man now enters the turntable shack to work the controls to turn the turntable. The engineer for the yard engine is now checking the alignment of the tracks on the turntable along with the team member for the yard crew. The engineer and the yardman are discussing their work orders. The yard engine is now backing up onto the turntable as it just dropped off a passenger car onto a siding. Yardman is now entering the turntable shack once again to operate the turntable to move the switcher to a different siding. After checking the alignment, the yard man boards the switcher to pick up some more passenger cars. The yard man now waves to the engineer saying, well done, see you later. Right next to the turntable is the Pier Marquette 1225 on jack stands. February 28th of this year, they put the 1225 on jack stands and removed all the dry wheels on trucks and they were sent to FMW Solutions in Northern Chattanooga, Tennessee to be worked on. This photo from the Pierre Marquette 1225's Facebook page shows how a 1225 was picked up and the wheels are removed. Hey, 
please smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to get all the notifications from YouTube. And as always, share some Detroit and Mackinac Railway. This is Train Room Pam. This is Train Room Gary. Thanks for watching. Please check out these fine videos from my YouTube channel.